Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and if you'd like to apply to be a guest on the show, just head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, so I have Anthony Hughes on the line, and he's a CEO of Tech Elevator. Anthony, welcome to the show. Thanks, Adam. Glad to be here. All right, so uh, excited to have you on the show today and to learn more about Tech Elevator and really how about the boot camps that you're running and just tech talent in general. So the, the, the space is changing when we think about um, uh, opportunity for people changing their career paths, like, you know, just a lot of different options that are coming out here. And uh, Tech Elevator is an expert in this, so excited to get your, your uh, input on this. And I guess just to get this started, we'll start this show the way that we start them all with our Mission Matters Minute. So, Anthony, we at Mission Matters, we amplify stories for entrepreneurs, executives, and experts. That's our mission. Anthony, what mission matters to you? So, at Tech Elevator, our mission is to elevate people, companies, and communities. We believe that there are bright people in our communities who have the cognitive ability to do better and to be better in their lives and their careers. And if we can find those individuals and connect them with in-demand technology skills and then connect them with employers who are seeking technologists, we can change lives on an individual basis. We can change the trajectory of their lives and their careers. We can help those companies grow. And as the companies grow, they can, tri they can contribute to the economic vibrancy of, of the community. So that's the mission of Tech Elevator, to elevate people, companies, and communities. Man, that's exciting. Love bringing mission-based individuals on the line to share why they do what they do. Like, what, what gets them up and motivated and really passionate about, like, getting out there into the marketplace and making a difference? So um, great to have you on the show, Anthony. And I guess, you know, just to get us started, so we'll, we'll get further into the tech elevator, of course, but like, how did you get introduced to this space? Like, what was that thing that uh, made you go in this direction? Yeah, I have a, an interesting background. I mean, I uh, throughout my career, I've actually been in, in business development, and I got into technology primarily in the area uh, of business development. I sold technology services and, and application uh, development services, and I had this brief stint in my career where I got into uh, the world of economic development. So I was in tech-based economic development working for uh, a national nonprofit, uh, helping develop entrepreneurial education programs, helping support entrepreneurs grow their companies, access capital. And I was doing it in the city of uh, Cleveland, Ohio, which I call home. And uh, in the process of supporting entrepreneurs, particularly tech entrepreneurs, I came to this realization that, you know, we could connect them with capital and help them find customers. But unless there were uh, there was a ready supply of software developers in the workforce, we were not going to be able to grow these startups into major companies that could really stimulate um, the, the, the economy of, of Cleveland, Ohio. And so that was my big aha moment when I was working in the field of economic development, that if we didn't create more digital literacy in the community that I had uh, that adopted me, that had become my home, um, then we really didn't stand a chance of, of reinventing the future of, of the community that we were in. So uh, in search of a solution, I started to study best practices. How is this problem being solved? How are people creating technology talent to change the dynamic of their workforce? And started to see uh, some early innovators in the space uh, building these short form technical training programs. And so that was the genesis of, of Tech Elevator was to develop that solution initially locally for, for Cleveland, Ohio. And I can tell you a bit more as you go on about how we've developed the company uh, far beyond uh, just, uh, just Northeast Ohio. I want to stick kind of in the beginning of the story a little bit longer. So what are, because I don't, I don't want to assume that the audience, like everybody understands this, let's just say this deficit in tech talent and how needed it is um, for, especially going forward as, you know, jobs that maybe are going to require some of this talent haven't even been invented yet, um, literally. Um, so what, what are some of the things that you found as you kind of went down this path initially that, that kind of maybe even surprised you? Well, 
um, you know, I was feeling the lack of technology talent when my my mm. clients, my startups, were coming to me and saying, "We can get we can get funder, you know, we can raise capital and we can get clients, but we can't build our team." I, I was feeling mm. it on that side of thing, and I, I started to do some research, and I started to try and quantify it. Um, mm. So I'll give you I'll give you what the state of what the state was when we um, started the company. There were, or actually currently, there are one point close to 1.3 million uh, jobs posted annually for software developers. Um, and uh, on an annual basis, it's estimated that we're producing about 75,000 computer science degrees. So that's the current state. So you look at that and you say, why are people feeling a pain in terms of a lack of technology talent? There's just a massive supply demand mismatch. Now, when we started the company in Cleveland, Ohio, um, there were a number of four-year institutions in the region. Uh, the aggregate of all of the four-year institutions in the in the region uh, was that they were producing 280 computer science um, uh, graduates every year, against a backdrop of 7,500 software developer positions. Did you posts. say basically a couple hundred? Wow. A couple hundred. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's unbelievable. I get it, but wow, like that's a significant gap. <laughs> it's a major gap. And, and compounding that gap, 50% of those computer science grads were leaving the region to go and work in New York or San Francisco or, or other places. Mm. So unless we were to start to produce our own talent or find alternative production systems, if you will, we were just going to be compounding the issue and we, we were going to be starving uh, any future technology growth uh, by a lack of technology talent. So mm -hmm. hopefully that frames the supply demand mismatch that, you know, um, I mean, it's still very prevalent today, but hopefully that frames mm -hmm. the, the issue as it, as it stood when we started the company. No, it it absolutely does, and uh, and that's what I wanted you to highlight. So um, I guess a good transition. Let's get into tech elevators. So I, obviously, you 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 clearly found a, a deficit and a problem in the market that needed you know assistance and and, and a change. So now um, let's let's dive into tech elevators. So t tell us a little bit about the company. Great. So um, you know, in essence, what we are is a short form rapid reskilling program that takes individuals with no background in technology, reskills them with modern development te um, uh, techniques and, and skills, and places them into jobs in the field of software development. And we do that in as little as 14 weeks. We have full-time reskilling programs and now part-time reskilling programs, but that's essentially what we do. No, individuals with no background in technology fully reskilled as a software developer and then placed into jobs uh, in, in, in tech-driven or tech-enabled mm -hmm. companies. So, so I know that, um, you know, first off, there's, uh, you know, there's a lot of business owners that listen to this, that they're looking for talent. Um, and then the other side of the coin, there's, you know, some individuals that are interested and maybe have always wanted to be in tech, but they don't necessarily know exactly how to, how to, how to get started. I guess let's start with the user journey. So let's just say, you know, they're listening to this podcast. They're like, okay, you know, this is interesting. Um, let, let, let's look this up and let's see what, how this relates to me. Um, obviously, everybody's going to be a little bit different, right? Have a different background, have a different interest in tech. But if you could just take me through like a scenario of what it would look like um, for somebody that was interested in tech to go through your program. Yeah, so I typically, you know, um, what we're seeing is adult learners, and I would define adult learners as anyone who's sort of, you know, post high school, post college, has, has spent a little bit of time in their career. Um, and, you know, we will see students who, you know, range, you know, as young as, you know, recent, you know, high school grad who's deciding to forego college uh, and go, you know, learn some skills to be more relevant in the workplace, all the way to, you know, we've placed, you know, 62 year olds. Uh, into companies. Uh, the typical kind of age range in, uh, that we see at Tech Elevator is anywhere between sort of 25 and 40. These are people that I would define as, you know, some way into their career. The experience that they're having is they're, they're feeling stuck in their career. They're feeling like they're smarter than the work that they're doing. They're feeling like the opportunities in front of them are not exciting. Uh, and they make a decision to 
kind of step back and to think about in, you know an investment in themselves right and this is you know a mindset that's been around for a while typically somebody you know some years in their career might have gone on to graduate school um, but in this particular case they want to get into the field of technology they're seeing people at their workplace whose careers are flourishing because they're in the in the sort of tech lane maybe they have friends of theirs that are in tech or in, in you know um, in and around tech or actually specifically in software development and they're seeing them do really well in their career and they're thinking, okay, I want to switch lanes. I want to get into that. And historically, their only decision had been, okay, well, then I've got to go back to college. I've got to go, or I've got to go to college, or I've got to go back to college, and I've got to pursue a four-year degree. Well, the really exciting thing that we've developed is we've been able to build a system that can uh, allow them to forego college. A college decision might have cost them $80,000 for much, much less than that and for much less time and opportunity cost, we're able to then reskill them and put them on that path into technology. Um, one of the things that I think is really important is if I'm in that mindset where I, I have this feeling that tech could be the right direction, I see people's careers flourishing, you know, how do I get a, how do I get a sense of if it's right for me um, before I, I take that leap? Um, and one of the things that we've done is we've helped people make that decision by we've developed aptitude testing tools. So we can um, we can say with a very high level of accuracy if, if this is the right path for somebody to take before they set off down that path. Um, and so we test them for aptitude and we're able to say this would be a good fit for you. Here's the next step to take before you know enrolling in the program. That's awesome. I, I see how it works, and I love the idea of systems. I know all the business owners out here love systems as well. I mean, how many how many students have gone through the doors at this point? Um, like, how many have been helped? Just roughly, of course. I know that. <laughs> no, not not exact number. Roughly. <laughs> well, you know, so <laughs> I take this very personally because every single every single journey, uh, mm -hmm. you know, these aren't just customers that we're selling widgets to. These are of people course. that are literally um they're making the biggest bet and the best bet i believe you can make on yourself which is you know to invest in yourself and they're doing that um they're putting their trust in us to to help that pay off so um i do know the exact numbers because i watched the exact numbers i think i checked it this morning and it's 2318 people have been placed into jobs in technology as a result of tech elevator um, wow, so, that's absolutely yeah. amazing that well congratulations first off that is that's no small feat no, no. I mean, you know, we we celebrate these things together. We've got an Absolutely. incredible team of people uh, who, and it is, you know, that we know our job's done when we've helped somebody transition from a job that they, you know, that they felt stuck in to a career that has so much headroom and so much potential. So um, we've done that both for um, individuals who are paying for themselves as well as we've done it for companies that are investing in their employees as well to help elevate their employees in their careers. So, you know, the, the, the number, the total number is much larger than that, but um, in terms of the consumer side of our business and the campus and online education side of our business, it's uh, 2,318. <laughs> Man, that's so. amazing. Um, well, Anthony, um, if somebody, first off, it's been great having you on the show. I love to see when a business is created out of really solving a problem or a need, and you, you obviously are solving and contributing to uh, it's a big one out there and providing a lot of opportunity and literally changing lives. I mean, I, I know what it can mean to, to change a career and to um, upskill and to really, I mean, just the idea even that, like, you don't necessarily have to incur all that additional debt or all that time. I mean, through your boot camps and just through the way that the, the program runs, I mean, we're talking about, you know, in a couple of months, you know, three months later, they could potentially be um, in, a, in a whole new world of tech and do maybe something that uh, a student's always wanted to do. So I think it's amazing. Um, that being said, if somebody is listening to this and they want to learn more or they want to connect with you and your team, I mean, what's the best way for them to do that? Um, the easiest place to find us and find all about us is um, at our website, and that is techelevator.com. Um, it sounds, you know, it's spelled like it sounds, T-E-C-H-E-L-E-V-A-T-O-R.com. Um, the aptitude test that I mentioned, that's on the website. Information about, you know, where our, where our students are working and the industries they're working in, the different companies they work for is all there. So 
there's tons of information there that should hopefully, you know, both from an employer side, if you're interested in hiring our grads, or from a um, from a from a student side, if you're interested in seeing if it's a good fit for you, that's all there. Fantastic, and we'll we'll put all that information into the show notes so that uh, our audience can just uh, click on the link and head right on over and check out uh, Tech Elevator and Connect. Um, and speaking to the audience, if this is your first time with Mission Matters, um, we're a platform that's all about bringing on mission-based entrepreneurs, executives, and experts, and having them share, you know, why do they do what they do? Like, what, why are they out there in the world trying to make a difference, and how are they doing that, right? What are their secrets to success? Uh, if this is the type of content that interests you or that motivates you or excites you, we definitely welcome you to hit that subscribe button because we have many more mission-based individuals coming up on the line and we don't want you to miss a thing. And uh, Anthony, it's really been a pleasure having you on, sh on the show. Um, thanks again for coming on. Hey, thanks a lot. I appreciate it.